This is a short story by Nancy Goldberg Hilton entitled Satan's Reach. I was standing in an office in a tall building waiting on some paperwork to be completed. Suddenly, I heard a rushing or a hissing sound and looked down. It was a black wire that was snaking into the room. I avoided it. As it slithered behind the desks of those I was working with, their faces changed. Suddenly, their eyes went blank and stared at me with evil intent. They said, what was it you wanted? No, we cannot help you. No, we will not help you ever. Go away. One moment they had smiles and the next they were intractable. Eyes focused, listening to an unknown source, dictating to them what they would say or how they would feel. They were changed in a moment from kind to unkind. In fact, evil. Their blank stares in the distance told me something was really changed in them. It was as if an unknown force suddenly took hold of their wills and took over their bodies. I noticed this snaking wire was leading out into the hallway and going into all the rooms. It was everywhere, seeking an entrance, seeking people who could be overcome. I had to avoid it at all costs. I went to the stairwell and ran down as fast as I could ahead of the snaking wire. I did not want to get on the elevator, as I might be trapped with it. Could I withstand its message? Could I withstand its lure? Could I withstand its intentions? I did not want to take the risk. As I walked outside, I noticed the snaking wire was crossing and crisscrossing the street and entering all the buildings. There were people coming out in fear and others were following docilely along. Some were screaming as it pursued them, and others were pulling it toward them and embracing it. As I watched the events unfold before me, I got on my knees and prayed for protection. Heavenly Father, we are being attacked by evil. We are being lulled into acceptance. We are being procured and surrounded by the evil wire as it wraps its tentacles around us like an octopus. Please loosen its grip. Please give us a way of escape. Please, please help us. The Lord's Spirit whispered. There is a way to escape. There is a way to stop it. It is love. Love will stop it cold. Love for God and each other. No evil can penetrate that.